my god it is five no whoa 350 I am heading to Vegas by way of Detroit and I decided just to stay out late with my friends for her birthday hey Marcy oh my god I'm so tired I need a nap help me in vegas to attend asd market week asd market week for everyone who doesn't know is the most comprehensive trade show for consumer merchandise in the u.s they usually have it twice a year in vegas it is one of the world's widest variety of products that are under like one roof and you get about four days shopping experience so i figured i'd tag along and be a set of second eyes for my mom plus duh it's vegas so what other reason do you actually need to go during this week we're looking for products for my mom to put on her amazon store i'm going to put three links down below because these are the items that she currently has for sale on amazon help a black mom out because also they are awesome products i do own all three they are great quality made just saying There are multiple ways to get around Vegas, but if you are anywhere off the strip but near a monorail stop, I totally suggest doing this. We ended up getting a four-day pass, and I believe it was only about $36 for four days unlimited compared to having to get an Uber or a Lyft, which was at least $15 one way. So 
super cost effective. Might as well take the monorail. And it's great for helping you sightsee. So this was my mom's first time in Vegas, but this is my second time going. But the first time I went a couple years ago, it was a bachelorette weekend. So y'all already know, whole bunch of partying, whole bunch of drinking, also a blur. So I didn't get to sightsee. So this time around, um, after every night that we finished ASD week, we ended up taking the monorail, going to check different hotels and seeing all the different sites that were available. Each season, the horticulture and engineering teams of the Bellagio transform the 14,000 square foot botanical garden. So spring, summer, fall, and winter are all featured, and they also do a special display for the Lunar New Year. So this summer display was celebrating elements needed for a life to flourish. So they did basically were having an avatar moment with the garden beds designed to represent the four elements, earth, water, wind, and fire. And this display was called Eco, a season of earthly awareness. And it featured more than 30,000 flowers and plants. It was absolutely gorgeous. Like the video does not do it justice. Thank you. 
Night three, I get to the ship and realize, take out my camera, and I forgot to take my batteries off of the charger. So all this footage is from my phone. <laughs> At the Flamingo Las Vegas, there is a Flamingo Wildlife Habitat. So this helps create a small escape from all the hustle and bustle of the strip. So if you're going there, you can relax in this four acre garden complete with streams, there's waterfalls, exotic birds, turtles, and different types of fish. And the exhibit is free to enter and it definitely is an experience for the entire family. Side note, if you guys end up going, go during the day because the lighting was not good because even without recording, you really couldn't see a lot. They didn't have a lot of lights, which made no sense to me, but you know, whatever.
This video just gives a glimpse into the sightseeing that you can do on the strip. There's so many different food venues you can go to, a lot of shows. Probably because of COVID, we didn't want to go into a club or any shows next trip. But thank you guys for watching and hope you enjoy the next Vegas vlog. Bye!